Hey everybody, welcome back. New weekly, new me. Except I have, I have played a little bit of the weekly on stream. I played a little bit on my phone. I would describe this weekly. I don't want you to turn off the video or the entire week of videos. I, it'll just be a powerful person who plays the piano here. How does that sound? Um, I, uh, I would describe it as a scale heavy weekly, but before you leave, it's also got some interesting scaling options. It's got some buy sells. It's got a lot of highly pillable units. It's got units that benefit from other units being pilled, such as the ox, such as the shark. I think you'll have a good time. You should listen to your friend Billy Zane. He's a cool guy. He just wants what's best for you. But scaling, it does matter. It's just you don't only have to do it via units that actually give you like more stats. You could do it via pilling or... I mean, that's pretty much the two ways. I'm not going to beat around the bush too much. Um, we have six gold. Let me get one of these. Kangaroo is a good get. Realistically, I'm going to give a kangaroo a croissant just because it's the only unit on our squad right now that we would say has a real shot to be here in the at the end of the game. <laughs> and it's going to go poorly for a little bit here. That's okay. We got one win. We got technically one HP down. I would say apple yourself up quickly. We need to find a unit that's going to uh, work at the front. I'm going to try this for now. I'm going to put the kangaroo third. This is to get through mods. This is to get through whatever their second best unit is. And then the kangaroo is, is just there to... Okay, well, the kangaroo is just there to, to scale for later. But this weekly, more than most in my limited experience so far, your early rounds don't matter so much as long as you can get this scaling engine going. And that's part of the scaling engine. How about a buy me? Sell me? Sell me. So you're going to scale the kangaroo right now. You should take a garlic for now. Freeze another garlic. We need to buy two units. Or we could run four squatted. I mean, like, this is a two-cost 2-2, uh, two -two, which is good. You're going to scale yourself now. I would really like to buy another unit. <laughs> um... I like the betta fish because it's like disposable. No matter what we buy, the orangutan's gonna buff it though. You know what? I'm against my own good judgment. I'm running a three squad. I think we're like guaranteed to lose, but we're up against another three squad and we're gonna win. Um, I don't know if it tries to match you up with people who have the same number of animals, but I, I feel like we got pretty lucky there. You're gonna buff you this turn. So the, the order is now correct. You can't keep running the three squad, though. Now you're going to buff pos... Oh, we are going to keep running the three squad. Okay, I guess we're going to test the little theory here. Give me a baboon. You're going to buff the... Okay, this is... I mean, it's not horrendous. For, for three units, we got... At least we got good equipment on them, but... Okay, this looks a lot worse. <laughs> if I'm being honest, I thought there was, like, a realistic chance that we might end up... Uh, Go a uh, great team name, by the way. We might go up against another three squad. It didn't. That's not how it went down, though. That's okay. So you're gonna buff a tier four. You're gonna buff the orangutan. I think we'd throw a dragonfly out here for extra scaling potential. You got the tier three, which actually doesn't scale us anymore now that I think about it. But when our kangaroo gets popping, it'll it'll help. Please buff the orangutan. Buff the orango. Ooh, we buffed the dragonfly. <laughs> we might be in for a, a world of hurt here. This looks fine. New, uh, well, does it look fine, actually? I would say it certainly doesn't look great. No, it does not look fine at all. Never mind. Never mind. We are on lethal already. Now, that's very important. The more scaling, the merrier scaling. Do we want to just go hard on the... Yeah, because you give one, two, and you give four health. Okay. Give me something like that. You, two are going to get buffed. We can guarantee, I think it's still going to be you two that get buffed. I'm just going to give you a, a cupcake for now. I really don't want to go out like with two wins in my first attempt. That's like a, it's a, a foul portent for our future. Um, but that appears to be exactly how it's going to go down. <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, that was not a good start. I'd say we went wrong in many different ways there. I think we got 
We had bad shots, uh, bad shops, I should say. I think we made bad decisions. We ran three squatted for a period of time. Uh, it's one of those things where looking back, I'm like, yeah, many of those were probably mistaken actions. Let me be like a, I'll be like an imported piggy. Call me Parma Ham. Unless you live in Spain, I guess in which case that would be a domestic. But you know what? There we go. We're halfway to our win total from last time anyway. It's good. Give me a, give me a duck combine into free stats. Beautiful. Now you come to the front as anti-moth. Previously the most overpowered hero in uh, Dota. Not champion! That's a different uh, game altogether. I think that's Heroes of New Earth. Actually, in Heroes of New Earth, I'm going to guess they're called Heroes. That might be from League of Legends. I don't know. I'm not familiar. I'm not a MOBA guy any longer. I managed to shake the, the, the yoke off. No levels, huh? Give me a Flamingo, because we can pill it later. It's good stats, and we can pill it later. Stack up a Flamingo. We're going to have to wait for our level, unfortunately. And that's... I would say we don't need a pill just yet. I, I don't think that the, it's like the death sentence to not get a tier three on, on turn three. But I think we absolutely need to have a, uh, a tier four on turn five. So we can wait one more cycle for the level. So give me, give me some more stats. Not the unit you really want to be getting uh, the stats on there. This is our guaranteed level. I don't think a croissant does much for us because we just we don't know who's gonna who's gonna be using it. Honestly, I'm gonna stack you up right. I know it looks weird, and if if we were ever gonna do a hedgehog build this weekly, it would probably be there. But oh no, <laughs> they're using their hedgehog build again. Oh no! If I had taken two hedgehogs, we draw that. But we probably shouldn't be trying to fight the last war. Okay, this is important. My levels. Not great. Fairly important, I think. Why don't you hook me up with an orangutan? Sell an otter. Buy a kangaroo. I know this looks pretty similar to our last run. Um, but the kangaroo is going to be buffed by the orangutan, which seems very valuable to me. Now, I <laughs> You're a three-piece, three-piece, four-piece. I'm just, like, lettuce could be good here, too. I'm, I'm trying not to panic. Like, we're, we're only one HP down right now. Our squad, we're, we're not really rolling any of the units that we consider, like, must-haves. But I don't think we're in a terrible spot. I think we're going to beat this Hippo Ox team, which is, like, uh, I mean, it's inspiring in and of itself. Orangutan can scale nicely until you get access to, like, the real scalers. Why don't you take this, see what you get? Hippo. <clears throat> I think we should try to get the hippo going. Let's sell out of our duck to buff... Oh, but if we... There's no way we're getting over this flamingo yet. We should... I think you should embrace the fact... Like, buff the hippo first. Give the hippo some garlic. No matter what, the hippo's not getting the stats here. We're going to try to get the orangutan to buff the hippo once. It would, it would be nice. Um, if the... Flamingo is likely to get the stats here from the orangutan. Then I'm, I'm happy we gave the garlic to the flamingo. Maybe we won't pill it for quite some time. If it wins us some rounds en route to the... En route to the pivot, I'd be very happy. I lived. Okay. This was... Things were very touchy in there, but I think we made equipment decisions that... Like, go kind of hard. The thing is, people will look at this and say, like, Why would you put garlic on a flamingo when you're going to pill it later? If we gave it a cupcake... It, it, people wouldn't have batted an eye. Well, what's the difference? Hang on. You're going to get buffed. There's no, there's no real way around this, is there? Sell me? I kind of want to dump the moth here. You know what we can do? Dump the moth. This hippo will get the buff. And then we can roll that hippo in with the other hippo next time for even more stats. We bought garlic basically to give us a better chance of winning a couple rounds. It's like a more efficient cupcake if it does anything for us. If it doesn't, it's not, which I guess is self-evident, but... Hang on, we're, we're pseudo popping. Am I popping? I think I'm popping. I think the popping has begun. The double hippo build. Okay, we're either a little creative here. I'm just saying you can't always evaluate um, decisions in this game in bad faith. Sometimes you gotta do it in good faith. Now let me see. We got a, a two, a four, a three, and a four. 
for me, still a pretty good opportunity to get a poodle out there. I don't necessarily think a poodle is the best scaler in the game, but I think it adds some more stats for us. It, it really is like it's poodle or orangutan, but that's not so bad. I hate to say it because I, I'm, I'm a big believer in this unit overall, but our, our kangaroo not getting to level two is a, is a huge L for us right now. Chocolate does exist though, that is the truth. <laughs> Easy to buff you too. Give the lowest health pet eight HP. Maybe we go you. And you could buff a, uh, you know what? I'm gonna sell our, I'm gonna sell our kangaroo. I'm gonna have you try to buff a boar. And if you buff the poodle, well, I would rather you didn't. Let's put it that way. Then we can focus on maybe just generating some attack. Please buff my, my boar, thank you. And you're also a different tier, although the hippo and the orangutan are the ones that are. Yes, okay, my mistake. Hang on, I think we're gonna lose to the team that we just sold. <laughs> oh, where are we? Oh. You don't get too many opportunities to run a boar. Or at least I don't. So I, I feel like it's worth the try here. The boars, the, the, the orangutans, I should say, you got to be careful with them because they end up just... If, if you take multiples, they end up trading with each other, which is not what we want. I actually think... I mean, level 2 hippo, I guess, is a gimme. And then I was hoping it would give me a boar. You know what? I would sell a poodle here, crazy as it sounds, and I would try to get a, um, a level 3 boar off the, off the ground. Now, the, the tiger is going to take our HP from the orangutan for a bit. But we can always give the tiger a stake and have it, like, not be useless, I think. That's just terrible luck, honestly. You gotta, you gotta give him credit for incredible luck there. Now, please, go sicko mode. He is not quite going sicko mode, but he wasn't off by much. And most importantly, perhaps, we're at least... We're doing something a little different. We need to roll. It needs to be better than that. And honestly, garlic or melon would go crazy on you. Another hippo is not what I need right now. <sighs> Actually, if you like, you could go crazy and forget about the garlic for now. And we should probably be talking about... I mean, realistically, I think we should be talking about pilling a flamingo. I think we should be talking about, if push came to shove, talking about getting rid of a hippo. My pita? You're gonna kill your blowfish, brother. Is that okay? It's more than okay. Cause yeah, you got the strongest elephant I've ever seen. We lose to a, a solitary monkey again. Pain. No? Maybe. <laughs> Can't help but feel the squad's kind of falling apart. Mm, I think you pill the flamingo next turn. Who's this, the tiger's taking the stats this turn. Oh, you buffed my hippo. My hippo's not doing anything. I never should have gotten him. I've, I've made a huge mistake. Hang on, though. Hang on. This will, oh, Wait, wait. We're making it through this one. Remember that part where I said this was a huge mistake? I'd like to go back on that. We only need one more to get to 10. Why was I so despondent? Pill me. You're going to give three? This is going to sound crazy. I want to make sure our boar gets 8 HP. So I'm going to pill you. I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> I'm going to pill you right here. Um, our boar should should stand a chance at least to, to get it. Now our hippo, I don't really know what I'm doing with you. I don't know. I mean, the turtle, you could do worse. Don't get me wrong. Let's put a snake here. Am I crazy to sell this and put an octopus? I mean, a 720 hippo is not getting it done, man. I'm throwing an octopus out here. I know, I know it sounds insane. And now the snake's taking the HP. Right, all right. The whole reason I set that up in the first place was to give the boar HP. What have I done? This hippo is going to run absolutely wild on me. But 23, 24. Oh, it was not like a... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, we're going to super lethal. You can call me crazy on this one. I, I think there is a chance. But we, we could use some luck here. That's something... We, there's so many level up opportunities here. And I think realistically, 
We need the octopus more. Uh, what would you, you give three? You give four experience? No, you give two friends behind you. Ooh, that's right. Okay, then you could, that means we could have a level two octopus going off as well. I'm not so concerned about the snake, the octopus though. It, it's a bit of a goofy team. We're kind of running a sniping team in a scaling weekly. It's a, it's a, it's a strange thing this, but my boar is dead. I'm done. Yeah, I'm toasted. I gotta say, Big big Elephant has accomplished some stuff here. Fana da Egg. Fana da Egg, maybe? I don't know, maybe it's just their name. I'm a little embarrassed. I, I think our pivot was not well advised there. Now, we have no trumpets this week, so we're not gonna be running Pied Tamarin. But I think we can easily feel good about this team right here. I'm starting to feel it a little bit. Maybe like a hungry hipster. But you wouldn't be so hungry if you weren't waiting in line 75 minutes for Jam Cafe's brunch on a weekend. I mean, come on. Anybody else out here Vancouver pilled? Just, just me? No, not, uh, definitely not just me. Like a lot of people live here now that I think about it. I'm fortunate, but if it gives us a good chance to win this round, I'm going to say I'm pogging up. Now, I, I don't care for the frilled dragon. I'm going to give you a small buff. I recognize we're four squatted, but we're four squatted with good stats and we're four squatted for a reason. The reason is going, we're going to draw, dude. That's all we could ask for in this situation. Now, pop over, six, seven. Seagull with death touch and a slug on your team goes crazy. The seagull gets the death touch. You could use a donut to make it happen, I guess. And then the... Every slug that comes out gets death touch. So you're creating like end, like two or three scorpions. It's a very interesting idea. Now I'm going to throw it out here just as a possibility. I'm going to add a blowfish to the squad as well, I think. And uh, I mean, you could run a croissant on a seagull for a minute to put it on other animals. It's just, it's, it's not my, my default squad. It's not where I feel like I'm at my strongest, but to, oh, come on. <laughs> That, that goose soul read, man. It's um, it's an interesting idea. Why don't you take this? Now we need to find a, a worthwhile unit. I would say this is a worthwhile unit. And we, we also got a second one popping off right there. Is there a 4-6? It's not unlikely that you die to a moth setup. Let, let's get it set up accordingly. We need to live long enough for the walrus to show up, not to mention the slug, if, if this plan is to have any chance of success. Okay, now I feel smarter. Good hits. That's a clean hit. Good smack. Always helps to wound a kangaroo a little bit. This will help us out too. That one's no sweat. Okay. Happy to get our first win, as painful as it is that it came on round four. I would say roll. I would say bye. You can go, but it's got to be for a purpose. Honestly, you can go. You can come out. You will get a croissant. You know what we should do instead then? We should give this to you so you get a croissant. Pop you over on the big guy and then toss you out here because we're, we're basically buying you to pill you anyway. There's no pineapples this week? I, I would say it's this is the round where we would ideally love to start scaling, but it's... We didn't get a dragonfly on level up or anything like that, so you gotta you gotta play your cards as they lie. And I'm I'm happy with where we're at. I think we're playing well with the with the deck that we got. I said the deck, the deck. Now you should be pilled if possible. And the longer we go into the game, the lo the the harder it is to find pills. Like we should be able to find them now. You need to be pilled unless we're gonna roll like a double bonobo or something. Seems like a, a, an amazing idea to buff a tier six. You know what? Rules are made to be broken. Forget this seagull strategy. Give me one ba baboon, which I mistakenly called a bonobo. You get out of here too. Give me a second one. Please don't buff each other. There's the pill we were seeking all this time. There's the betta fish. Giraffe. I'm going to say it's a little too little too late on giraffe. At least we got one bowfish bluff. Bo blow bowfish bluff? Blowfish buff? I'll take that. Double goose me and see if I care. I don't. What a shot. Goose me. Ooh! Beautiful. Now we got a problem. We need the baboons to hit a tier four now to accomplish anything of value. 
We can do that. Add me. Place me. Kill me. Big elephant buff. Place me. You're going to buff the baboon. I think that's fine. What I'm realizing... Oh, yeah, 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 that's not great. <laughs> what I'm realizing, though, is the baboon seems kind of crazy to have around if you're on tier sixes and just trying to get over the hump. So the problem with the baboon is that it's always going to um, buff a unit that's at your current shop tier. So it only gets to buff like one unit two times before it moves on, right? But at tier six, it stays there forever. So maybe we could afford the can. Take our level next time to get a tier six just to get us set up for the future. Potato, I'm not really concerned about. This I, I am happy to see. Now, let me look at this. You're a tier five. One, two, three, four, three. It is tempting that I, I think the better send, setup is it, except that our baboon isn't going to do much right now, but the poodle is going to be is going to be pog crazy. And then maybe we sell our duck to set up a, a tier six. Baboon's got nothing. We knew that though. And the baboon and the blowfish are the same tier. But I, I maybe we're we got a little too much going on. But I think we got a genuine chance here. This round is gonna suck though. We can afford to leverage some HP to, to make the dream work. I guess is what I'm trying to get at. I think I love it. Now tier six. It won't receive the buff yet. I'm sorry to do this. I think the blowfish goes. And we run a boar knowing it'll get a guaranteed buff from the poodle. And I'm I'm sorry to do this. I'm sorry. No, we, wait, we could run two poodles. You have to go to the back now. Two poodles? Really? To, to scale your boar faster? It's a little insane. What you're suggesting here is a little, it's a little mad. Just for now. You know what? Why don't you take this? We got three HP. I'm just being honest with you. I don't necessarily expect to win this round or the next round. But I'm hoping after that is when we can actually pop off. So I'm basically sacking my life. <laughs> I'm, I'm fully prepared to sack two lives to make this boar work. This is nice, actually, because we can get... Take your level, we could get another tier 6. I'm, I was just hoping it would be a boar. We actually want 2, 3, 5... We would love a tier 4 that's not a lobster. So that it could also get buffed by our poodle. We could also... I would be content to run two poodles. And for the moment, why don't you just take a chili pepper? It is pretty good scaling. The baboon has annoyed me a little bit with his scaling, but... We're going to need so, uh, uh, some miracles to get through this, but I'm, I'm not feeling like it's sunk yet. <laughs> How'd you do that with one poodle? Now on tier six, you're going to be getting two four every turn. Now that I've gotten here, I've realized that is not that much. Um, Should have gone with a slug strat from earlier. You really need more HP. Forget about the elephant, man. It's, uh, that's important. Don't forget about the elephant, man. That's an inspiring story. But forget about this elephant for now. Walrus pill is like, that's a classic. But I was really hoping to get a, a, uh, a chocolate so we could get to a level two boar. Our boar is going to be a 2420. I mean, it's a wide scaled squad. But I don't know if it's got quite enough. Thank you for not... Um, Making my, my boar sick, though. Holy cow! We got over a little bit of a hump there. I'm a little surprised. Um, I could always combine and then put some death touch out here. It's probably for the best. You should maybe move to the front now. Snake? But what would we, what would we need? Two, five, is it a four or a one? Donkey's kind of interesting. You know what? Donkey and boars actually seem like they could work together. And we're kind of getting out of the pocket a little bit, but... 
Like when our frontline unit dies, we should move their scaler to the front, which should allow our board to feast one more time and maybe get an extra trigger. And you never know what that extra trigger could do for us. Like one thing it could do is move something with a stake to the front, which I obviously really appreciate. Hey, never mind. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna draw. Order kinda screwed us on that one, unfortunately, but now if we could get the donkey to work twice, I'd be even happier. No tacos, no steaks. No ice cream, come on. We gotta do better than that. What are you doing to me? <laughs> okay, okay, sure. I'm getting increasingly skeptical, but this boar is starting to get something going. Okay, we got a big boy. Oh, my weakness. It's okay, moved octopus to the front. We got through, we got through, we got the six. It's the, I'm really fighting for this one. Level the boar. Just hoping to get another boar out of it. I would really like to see chocolate or donkey. Chocolate. This way we could get... Well, we're not going to get two triggers, are we? Works two times if a friend faints. But you're not going to faint twice. We don't really need you to level up. It'd actually be better if, if the poodle could level up. Okay. <laughs> he can. Um, how's this going here? You're, you're so close to max, which means the baboon can go, but the baboon can't go because it's a 25-26 death touch. Hang on, hang on. Move the shark to the front! Get owned! Oh, baby! My, it's my dream coming true. Look at this. He's a genius. I can't believe it. There's seven. Ten remains a, a, a pipe dream here, but you gotta try. Now, since you're so close to Max, it's kind of tempting to, like, sell. Um, I don't know. I can't sell. Can't sell any of this. Are you crazy? Just level up, man. Just take the path of least resistance on this. Just enjoy yourself. Give three random pets some support here. I don't know how we're going to do this, but... I, I guess we're gonna just hope we match up nicely against other teams. Okay, good. Death, death touch monkey. That's gonna, that's gonna squander that pretty quick. <laughs> it's, it's over. All right, I'm still, I'm, I'm happy. We haven't been running like standard meta teams. We've been getting a little weird with it, and the results bear that out. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. It. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.